Hello everyone, um, this is the presentation on professional research and communication on interim research proposal and the topic of my presentation is uses of DNA cryptography in image encryption. So talking about the cryptography, it is the process of hiding the information in some unreadable form and vice versa. So DNA cryptography is the method of uh, using the concept of biological DNA which mainly contains four bases that is adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine. The main purpose of this study is to analyze the uses of DNA cryptography mainly based on some security measures and whether um, after encryption and decryption it maintains the quality of image or not. So um, these are some of the uh, papers that helped me to know more about the uses of DNA cryptography where uh, Akasaligar and Birader has uh, uh, stated about the high security provided by DNA cryptography uh, using its unique and complex features whereas the Das and Kar has stated there there's a big challenge uh, in using the biological DNA uh, but also, yes, it is impossible for attackers to attack when DNA cryptography is uh, hybridized with other cryptographical method. In the similar manner, Kumar and team has stated about the uh, uh, RGB image encryption and its quality, uh, maintenance of the quality uh, using the DNA cryptographical method. So uh, moving on to the next slide, these are some of the research questions that I have kept in mind while do doing my research works. Uh, you can see like how DNA cryptography is increasing the security against threat. The main aim is to uh, analyze about the quality, data loss, uh, security and if there is any other better encryption technology than that of the DNA cryptography for image encryption. The research paradigm and methodology that I used is the quantitative research um, whose motive is to find answer of how, what, how and where. Uh, so uh, it involved the uh, uh, statistical study uh, rather than some descriptive manners uh, and uh, the Data collection procedure is mainly focused on the health practitioner because uh, the image that a health practitioner uses is uh, delicate and sensitive. And by observing the existing documents, articles and analyzing the case studies as well. So these are the ethical considerations I have kept in mind while doing the research that yes, accuracy of the image of the uh, image of peoples is maintained while doing research and uh, the intention is to provide the greater uh, happiness and satisfaction to people by maintaining quality and security of image as well but there is an ethical dilemma that whether uh, the investment is worth investing in uh, DNA cryptography or not uh, so these are the, some of the references that helped me to know more about DNA cryptography and its uses. So thank you and if you have any queries you can ask me anytime. Thank you.